Hi everybody, I hope that you're all well and you've had a good week. Today I want to talk to us moving into what's known as the age of miracles. So over the last few months, I've been talking a lot about us transitioning from a, a heavier energy into a lighter and much more supportive energy. And it's known as the age of Aquarius, which is the beginning of a new light cycle, okay, which is actually us as a collective moving into this energy that is far more supportive, far more aligned with our highest good. And what we've been observing in the last year is this process of filtering out a lot of the dark, heavier energies that we've been carrying for centuries, actually. But personally, we've been carrying all of our lives. And that's why we've been observing so much unrest is because this new, fresh light energy has been shining a light in very dark places, which can be really uncomfortable. But what it does is bring everything up to the surface so that you are able to or pushed to move through it. So firstly, what I'd like to say is, I know it's been a really challenging year, but instead of focusing on the challenge and potentially the struggles that you've had with it, I would highly recommend that instead you focus on how well you've done. You've navigated it. No matter what it's thrown up for you, you have found your way through it. And that speaks a lot to the caliber of resources that you have within yourself. And the reason I want to invite you to focus on that is because when we focus on the things that lift us up, it empowers us. It energizes us. When we focus on the things that don't, it has the opposite impact, okay? On top of that, you may have noticed there's a sensation that time is speeding up. Um, can you believe it's already nearly November? Um, and the reason for this is because of this new energy that we're moving into, and this lighter, potent, strong energy. There's less resistance. And what's happening is we're also, it's actually referred to as the age of miracles that we're moving into. And the reason it's called that is because our ability to manifest is far greater. Now, I want to be clear when I say that, because the truth is we manifest all the time. So what I really want to say is our ability to consciously manifest is really powerful. Now, before I start talking about manifestation, I just want to highlight one thing. The law of attraction, which says that we attract what we are already feeling, okay? So by that, I mean, if you are in a really challenged emotional space, the law of attraction will simply bring you more experiences that reinforce that feeling. If you're in a space that feels very powerful, very empowered, very light, energetic, happy, strong, law of attraction will bring you experiences that reinforce that emotional environment. So the key to conscious manifestation is being very aware of where you sit emotionally and being consciously able to manage your own emotional landscape so that you manage to stay in a space that feels good. So that law of attraction consistently brings you experiences that back that up, that feel good. Now, the reason this is challenging is because life, <laughs> life happens and we cannot control the things that happen to us unless we're working with our vibration very steadily. So by that I mean contrast exists. So when contrast comes into our lives, it often encourages us to grow. And by this I mean some sort of left field experience comes in where your boss suddenly turns around and says, I need this done by lunchtime and it's 11.30 and your whole schedule goes out and you feel a wave of stress or fear come in. Or something that happens with your kids that's really challenging, whatever the situation may be. There's situations that come in which seem to be really challenging and yet it's how we respond to them that creates our experience. And when you are consciously trying to manifest, the opportunity for you is to see every single event that comes in that seems challenging as an opportunity for you to find a 
gentle, peaceful response to it emotionally. Okay, so self-soothing is really important. Say that boss situation happens, you need to get something done in time that you really don't have. You feel this wave of panic or fear about to hit you. And instead of owning it, instead of saying, oh my goodness, I'm really stressed or I'm really worried about this, saying to yourself, I'm observing fear, I'm observing stress, and then self-soothing. It's okay, I'm going to navigate this. I will find my way through. No one's head is gonna pop off. Everything is going to be okay. I'm just gonna find my way with it. And when we do that, when we self-soothe, we enable our energetic vibration to stay in a really beautiful space. It doesn't plummet down, okay? And by doing that, law of attraction will then bring us these experiences that support that. We'll be able to manage the experience far more easily. So self-soothing is one way to start to really consciously support yourself in this very potent manifestation period. If you want to take it up a notch, then meditation is really, really helpful because what meditation does is it trains you to manage your emotional responses to things. Because when you're meditating, you have a point of focus. And when your thoughts come in, which they inevitably do, your, your opportunity is to return to your point of focus. And it's this training of coming back to this point of focus that helps you in the real world when something hits the fan and you're in a situation that's challenging, you can employ that self-control that takes you back to a place of it's going to be okay. You see, so that's why meditation really serves us because it just gets that muscle flexed and trained of not reacting to something, but rather choosing a response to it. The final thing I'd like to share with you to help you with this powerful manifestation opportunity you have is actually something that came to me whilst I was sleeping. So I was very lucky to get um, a visitation, if you like, from my guides um, all night. And this was about a month or so ago. And basically what they showed me was they would present me with a situation that was really calming and enjoyable to me, that brought me a lot of joy. And as I observed this situation in my life that brought me joy, my entire body relaxed. And then they would bring me an image of something which was challenging. And they told me to recalibrate. And so what that meant was I would then witness this image that would I would normally find challenging, but my opportunity was to shift my response to it and employ the calm joyfulness that I had found in the last image to help myself recalibrate back to a space that was good, that felt good. This went on all night. And even though that sounds challenging, it was actually a really beautiful experience because my ability to bring myself back to a soft, supportive, nurturing space, no matter what the image was they showed me, became stronger and stronger and stronger to the point where it didn't really matter what they brought into my attention. I was just in this beautiful space that could accept and move through anything. And that is our opportunity to get ourselves to a space where we just feel good. We just feel able or enabled to deal with whatever comes our way. So if you want to work with that last one I just shared with you, the recalibration, what I would suggest you do is particularly if meditation is challenging for you, which I know it is for a lot of people to start with. So I would suggest that you lie down as well to start with. I know people sit up for meditation a lot. I mean, and you can do this sitting too, but I sometimes think for beginners, it might be easier just to lie down because that's generally a more relaxed position for a lot of people. Put music on that is really relaxing. Um, you can find a lot of really good things on YouTube. Um, and I'm just trying to remember the frequency. I think it's 111 megahertz that is very calming. It helps the, um, the left and right brain balance. And so it automatically helps you tune out. So go onto YouTube and look, just type in 111 MHZ megahertz, and you should get a few options there that will tell you what you can use. Um, 
just lie down, listen to that for a while and just think of things if you need to think. Think of things that bring you joy. Think of a child that you love. Think of a place that you love. Think of a person that you love or an animal. Animals are wonderful. They just bring out a really beautiful loving side of us. So <clears throat> focus on those aspects that bring you joy and ease. And spend some time there and really make sure that your body is completely enveloped in this sense of ease. And when the images or stories come in that bring you a level of disharmony, which will potentially happen or inevitably in some cases, I want you to consciously try to recalibrate, to bring yourself back to that space of joy. So, and just as a practice, every time something challenging comes in, just try and find a better feeling place. But start by setting yourself up with it, okay? So just taking lots of nice, long, deep breaths when you initially lie down, listening to the music, thinking of someone or something or a place that you really, really love, and just really embedding that sensation into your system. And then when the stories start to come in, just gently practice bringing yourself back into that space. Okay, I think that's everything on my list. Oh, and I don't know if you must have already seen, I have been pushing out um, some posts this week around the Alchemize method, which is a six week course that I'm doing for an app that I'm actually building at the moment. Um, and I'm looking, well, I've actually got um, a lot of people signed up already, but I've got a few spots left and there's only 10 of you. And basically it is a six week powerhouse course of really creating a very powerful relationship with yourself, clearing energy that sits behind any self-limiting beliefs and helping you reset your neural pathways so that the story that you start to tell, because your story is very important, around money, love and life is really powerful and enables you to attract, magnetize, bring in the things that you want in life. So you're gonna have a full understanding of vibration. A lot of the things that I talked to you today will be broken down into really powerful, supportive um, processes for you. You'll learn a lot of energy techniques to support you. And self-doubt and past limiting beliefs will become something of your past because you'll just know you'll have your own techniques and your own processes to just overcome it. And it will really liberate you in this very powerful time to take advantage of this conscious manifestation period. So if this is something that you're interested in, please just message me, uh, hello at kwilson.love. And, um, and please do it quickly because I am going to get this started next week. So I'm looking to get my 10 people sorted pretty shortly. Um, okay, have a lovely weekend and I hope this serves you and I will see you soon. Take care.